testimonies are the wonders of God. The scripture says, we overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and by the words of our testimony. Let's listen to the weighty understanding of the God of wonders through our testimonies. Let's just shout a powerful hallelujah again. Glory be to God. In this month, June 2023, we have amazing testimonies to the God of wonders. Let's listen to the online testimonies, after which we'll listen to the on-site testimonies. Sister Abolaji from Nigeria, she found a lump in her breast last year and biopsy revealed it to be cancerous. Firstly, God miraculously provided every fund needed for chemotherapy. Secondly, during treatment, she met Dadajio who prayed for her. Miraculously, the lumps reduced in size. When they were removed and tested, no cancer was found. Praise the Lord! Mr. Shane Jolayemi from Nigeria, they attended the year 2022 convention tagged Perfect Jubilee, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. They held on to the word of knowledge spoken by our Father and the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. God answered and blessed them with a baby boy in May 2023. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Sister Bolanle Joseph from Benin Republic. She attended the March 2023 Special Holy Ghost Service in Severe Pains. During the service, when Daddy Gio asked everyone to pray for themselves, asking God for their request, she cried to God for her healing. To the glory of God, she received her healing instantly. Hallelujah. Sister Olufunke Bella from United States of America, she's thanking God for her son, who graduated in 2019, but was denied his employment authorization documents. She sent a prayer request to the office of Dad Gio and got a response that our request will become testimonies. To the glory of God, God made a way for him to get admission for his PhD. And he got employed and has started his new job. Let somebody shout a powerful hallelujah. Pastor Mantami, one of the triumphant elders from Nigeria, is thanking God for the manifestations of the blessings pronounced by Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, during the May 2023 Holy Ghost service in the lives of his grandchildren, who got lifted in their academics, and God also made them get employment, miracles, and jobs. Praise the Lord. Brother Adebayo Fisher from Nigeria. During one of the 2019 Holy Ghost Service Program, when Daddy Gio announced that the altar was open for prayers, he raised prayers for a family member who was at the point of death. God restored him. Secondly, God miraculously changed the sex gender of the daughter's baby from a baby girl to a baby boy after about 11 miscarriages. Let somebody shout another hallelujah. <laughs> Assistant Pastor Sinzu and Okweemi Amosu from Nigeria. They are grateful to God for ending 12 years of barrenness. They attended several Holy Ghost services and Shiloh hour programs. Last year, God answered and blessed the family with a baby boy. Let somebody shout another hallelujah. Brother Seth Oye from United States of America, he applied for his National Interest Waiver Employment Authorization document and his green card in August 2021. He had to stop work due, due to his pending application. Whilst connected to the November 2021 Holy Ghost Service team, the appointed time. He received the prophecy spoken by Daddy Gio that someone's helper will wait for him as Elijah waited for Elisha. 
Also, during August 2022 convention, he keyed into the word of knowledge that it seems someone has come to the end of the road, but the Lord said the road is widened, smooth, and straight. Indeed, it came to pass. All his applications were approved in 2022, and he miraculously returned to the same job after 16 months delay. Let somebody clap their hands and give God all the praise for all the online testimonies. Let's listen to the on-site testimonies. Praise the Lord. Our Lord is good. I, am, I came to this place to come and testify to the glory of God. I am from Benin, Edo, uh, from Edo State, Benin City. I am attending a fellowship in uh, Edo CCG, Edo Province, CIS, Temple of Mercy Zone. So, a few months ago, I went to a program. Something happened to me, I lost my, one of my legs that I could not walk again. My people gathered together and decided to carry me to Idiama Hospital. I thank God, the anointing oil here that Daddy Joe gave my pastor is what God used to deliver me without cover, without Panadol. I came to tell Baba God, thank you, I come to tell that is Gio and the Mommy Gio and all their followers. Thank you. May God Almighty bless every one of them in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Titi Layo Adeseko. I've come to give God, to pay my vow to God. In 2015, while I was listening to the, uh, the December Holy Ghost Congress, that the GO made a, a, a decree and said, somebody, that the Lord said, somebody is here that, um, it, that the Lord said should tell you it is a false alarm. And in, 20, in that 2015, I was having a, a, a strange feeling in my tummy. I went to the hospital after various um, um, diagnoses. I was sent to a specialist hospital that, and after an, um, a laparoscopy was done on me just to check what was really the cause because the doctors couldn't find anything. So when I went to see the, the, the specialist, the specialist said, oh, there's this, you can see a mark of tumor and it's a kind of a strange one that happens to one in millions w women. And I'm like, God, have mercy. And to the glory of God, after, and when I, after I went for the laparoscopy in November, the word of prophecy came December. I heard on to that prophecy. I went back in January to see the specialist. And he looked at the scan results again. I did another scan and he said, the tumor mark is looking shrink. It's reduced. And he said, okay, we'll keep an eye on you just to watch uh, in the next six months. I started going for checkup every, every twice in a year. Then in 2018, Daddy Gio came again and said, the Lord said I should tell somebody that it is a false alarm. And I heard on to that word. I, I went back to see the specialist and the following month and he did another another scan and said the mark is shrink i, I think it's it's a false alarm it's not it's not too much it's not something cancerous it's kind of a seize that happened and it was a false alarm so i said anytime i have opportunity to be at uh, 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 this kind on this time I, i'm from i'm from um freedom house and peterborough united kingdom but i've come to say father i thank you for your healing of i'm alive today thank you father lord Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Michael Lakunle Olaren Rewaju. Uh, precisely April 13th, I was on my way to Lagos. I stayed on camp. I was going for a meeting. I left the camp around 5 a.m. and I was in this four hours traffic just to get to Bega. So I was late for the meeting. Already I was tired and uh, I managed to attend the meeting. I decided to stay back for service. On my way back uh, from church again, I was in this three hours uh, traffic on this road. I was feeling so weak, so tired. At some point, the person I was carrying, I told him, okay, you find your way. Maybe I'll turn back and look for an hotel to sleep. Well, we tried to push forward. By the time we got to Baker, I realized I couldn't move part of my body again. I was half paralyzed in the car. So gratefully, my wife was also in the car. They managed to move me to the driver's side. We are still in traffic for like two hours. We are praying. 
but I was so worried. I was like, God, I'm just preparing for the next light up. That's what I'm discussing. Is this how this is all going to end? But to the glory of God, by the time we got to camp, I just realized immediately we entered the gate, I could move my right hand, I could move my leg, and I was like, God, what's going on? To the glory of God, I am okay, I am perfect. Precisely method again, method after that, uh, I was going on an official assignment. I got to Allen uh, Junction. I was waiting for the traffic light to pass us. There's this vehicle that just came and ran into us, about seven cars, and we had terribly injured the car was seriously damaged i came out with a person in the car with me to the glory of god i just thank god because through it all all through last month holy ghost service i was having chest pain but today i'm fine i'm all praise the lord with me let somebody shout hallelujah I am standing here. I'm a woman God has shown so much love and mercy. My name is Mrs. Martin Street at Chukwemeka from Blotter House Glory, Abuja, FTC 9. I'm here to testify to the glory of God and to the shame of the enemy. Um, this signal stated 2020, I relocated to Abuja from Lagos. And during that COVID 19, the sickness started. They said it was malaria, typhoid, ulcer, gallstone, cholesterol, name it. I went to the hospital. They said she went for CT scan. Because the pain I was having on my chest, front and back, was too much. I went to a CT scan. After that CT scan, they said it was heart problem. They were asking me if anybody has heart problem in my family. I said no. At the end of the day, I went from one hospital in Abuja to the other. My brothers and my sisters, I went to at least 11 hospitals. I even went to a Turkish hospital. It was then they referred me to India. One of the doctors said, I should go to India if I know the road to India. I said, yes, we've been there because my little baby did a heart surgery when she was two years over there. So when we got to India, before we got to India, I was not working. I can't even go, I can't even go one step. I can't do anything. I can't eat. My legs swollen. If you see me, I was black as charcoal. I was very slim. I see, we see the bones in my body. So they were like, afraid of if I can fly. But as God wanted, we went to India. We got that money. We went to India for the operation. They said they want to do underground. They want to do a sort of operation. At the end of the day, got into India. We met the cardiologist, three, the chief cardiologist, three of them, the Indians. After all the MRI tests and everything I went through, they said they cannot do any operation. That this is beyond them. That all the arteries, both left and right, were closed. That I only have one percent, and all the models were not working. That my other should rush me down to Nigeria. They gave him forty-eight hours to go back to Nigeria. Before then, I connected Pastor Leke. He prayed for me. I connected Pastor Tunde Ajay. He prayed for me. But I told my husband to fly me down to the camp. That I will not go to Abuja. That the moment I come in here. I believe that my healing will start. That was the time our daddy was in 80th birthday. Daddy, you will live long in Jesus' name. So when I got here, I took the Holy Communion. I laid down over there. My elder sister came with me because they came to the airport. I couldn't walk. My husband would be carrying me. At the end of the day, they put me to see Daddy Gio on the 5th. Two days' time, I saw Daddy Gio in his office. And he laid hand on me and prayed. I said, that whatever I've come here to ask God, Believe in having that faith that I will receive my healing. After two weeks, I was still here. I went back to Abuja. I had a revelation with the man too that he blessed for me. God said I should go and buy original MOMB. I never knew what that means. In search of MOMB, I was seriously praying in the spirit. All the pastors I know in Redeem, both in Lagos and Abuja. At the end of the day, God said I should go and start studying my Bible, me and Bible. And I should go on to do evangelism. And that is where the healing will permanent. I came to return all glory to God. Because I was a dead woman. I was not having any heart. But God gave me a new heart. God made me to be alive again. And I'm here to return all glory. And I made a vow unto God that this is what I'm going to give. And I've come to return the glory and the vow to God. And I said, you God, I've done this to my life. All the days of my life. Until you, oh God, I'll continue to serve you. 
from generation to generation unto my family. Daddy, I thank you so much. You will finish well, you will finish strong. Mommy Joe, God bless you, man. And all the ministers of God, thank you. Praise the Lord! Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God of wonders for his goodness in my life and that of my family. I got married in the year 1998, and ever since then, for 23 years, I have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. But the God of wonders visited my family in November year 2021 during the Holy Ghost service when I had added in the Lord in the, in the Holy Ghost service titled the appointed time. When our daddy in the Lord said, everyone looking for the fruit of every barrenness is over that by nine months that, uh, we will, that they will celebrate with us. I keyed into those prophecies and I began to pray. And to the glory of God, that same month, November year 2022, I became pregnant. And last year, June, I gave back to these wonderful children. Their names are Ken, the names of the their names are Kende, Taiwo. Their names are Taiwo, Deborah, Jesufirefumi, Olushala, and Kende, Naomi, Jesufirefumi, Ibijoke. I return all glory back to God. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us rise up on our feet and just begin to exalt the name of Jesus, the wonderful God, the Prince of Peace, the one that can give you double for your shame, the healer, the restorer, the sanctifier, the mighty God, the one that has picked you and have raised you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Can we go on and just appreciate the name of the Lord and shout a powerful hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and say, I am the next to testify. To your back, turn to them and say, I am the next to testify. And my testimony will shake the whole world. <laughs> 